All right, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back. I'm that dude, Lucy. It's great to see you guys. It's been a very long time since I've been streaming. Actually, and this is one of the first few times I've been streaming on Facebook Live uh, as a Facebook gamer. Uh, previously on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you guys for following me over who have. And uh, tonight, we're doing Hogwarts Legacy. For those who don't know me, I am actually a huge Potter nerd. I'm a huge Potter... Sorry about that. Mike was off. Let's try this again. Hello, everyone. Welcome and welcome back. I'm That Dude Lucy. Thank you for joining us. And seriously, guys, this is going to be great. Tonight in store, we have Hogwarts Legacy. I am a huge Potter nerd myself. Uh, I, I love the Harry Potter universe. I've been super excited to play this game. I have not watched anybody play it except for like two seconds of my buddy, Mr. 47. If you haven't seen him, go check out his page. Mr. 47, that's Mr. and number 47, all spelled out. Uh, anyways, I'm super excited about playing this. Like I said, I'm a Potter nerd. I'm actually, I've been like shaking because I've been so anticipating this and, uh, you know, without further ado, let's jump on into it. So I haven't even read this letter. I just got a few things set up so we can just basically jump into the game. Music's already getting me like all goosebumps and everything. But yes, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Fifth year. So that's uh, either an accomplishment because I'm going for extra time or I failed a few things. We'll find out in a little bit. Terms begin on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor uh, Elziar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the state of term feast and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Wow. Okay, first and foremost, I have to say, I noticed Weasleys right off the bat. They've always been a prominent uh, uh, person throughout the Harry Potter universe, the wizarding world. Um, so I'm actually pretty curious. I was, I heard this is like uh, pre-Harry Potter, like the books and stuff. So th this is going to be definitely an interesting uh, layout. I'm uh, sure, we're just gonna kick a uh, kick, pick a random character. Female with the okay, hang on. So I'm just gonna look through. Honestly, this goes with my hair and stuff. I used to have it swooped down more the emo. I'm gonna go with him. I know, not quite my complexion, but hey, we'll work on this. Um, leave the face shape. I'm not really too worried about aesthetics for this game. Um. Let's go with glasses, though. I wear glasses, so that's going to be something for me. Uh, let's drop skin color back, because I am a pasty mofo. Um, not that pasty. Let's go there. Oh, you got to give me so many options. Uh, let's go with, like, more of a modern me. That's already off the bat like me. Uh, uh, why do we have to have the... Oh, oh big hair. <laughs> I'll take that. We're going to go with that one. Um... I assume I can't have a beard or anything, so we're just going to go with that. I don't really want scars or freckles. I'll just leave what it has standard. Um, he's got my eyebrows already. Let's go with that. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. <laughs> I am indeed. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was one. That was quite something. A few cobwebs. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I mean, I got a little bit more PC, so let's just put I the pitch all the way down. Let's leave it on normal. Uh, character is going to be... Well, let's just go with J. Um, last name. Uh, 
man, there's so many different names, so many different people I can choose from in the wizarding world. And, uh, I mean, I've always felt kind of a Weasley myself, a little out of place and everything. So let's, I don't know, uh, let's go with Skidmore. Just something random that's just off the top of my head. We are a wizard. We could be a witch, but I'm going to be a wizard because obviously my physique, I'm missing a few items. And let's start our journey into Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go in. Ah! Ah! I'm so excited. I can't. I can't even tell you guys. Like. Ah. Stage it appears coach. we are Step almost back. ready to depart. No cars. So that's it's a pity back. we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a secondhand wand. You'll be Second forced to be reckoned one, with huh? when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Really <laughs> <talking to you. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Who is this odd fellow? <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have hmm. miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fetagoers in the West End. <laughs> Yikes. It's been much too long. Um, I when I received your owl, I must say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? Ah, we'll start hello, a Mr. 47. A sorting One ceremony sec. to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile oh, of rocks. Wow, rock. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's made of stone, so... Oh, look of concern. He... I feel like he thinks we're being followed off the bat. So he must have some best rules. Uh, there's nothing in front of that cart. Visible width, but hey. Hello, Mr. 47 again. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for joining us. And I am just as excited, if not more... Yeah, there was a guy following us. I'm pointing like you guys can see what I'm pointing at. But you guys saw it. All right. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Me being a huge nerd, this is so great after so many years not having any, like, great movies or games to play. Hit Port Key, Wizarding World, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, familiar names coming back. Ah, so you know, you know they really worked and they really tried to intricate on this and make this good like oh it's like Hagrid's motorcycle I caught you before you left for Scotland <laughs> just barely Scotland. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion a new student new I couldn't say my yes name. sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, so late, as the as other fifth, fifth years year. will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, Those the headmaster hours. asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Coming from this guy, I'll Mr. take Osric that. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> and so humble. Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion, truth. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the ministry... Is that a I dragon? He is yes! a significant threat. Ah! And sorry, I'm just way too excited about this. Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It's either by it came to me via her puzzle. owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. 
I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. Absolutely, thank you, What's sir. That glow. I don't see a glow. Nor do I. That a little bit better. Ah! Merlin's beard. It's a key. Uh, how did you wait? Don't what touch it. It could be cursed. Oh! It's a dragon! <laughs> Bro! Okay, where'd the other guy? Is he, like, dead? Or is that... Bro, the graphics... Oh! Oh, he's... He's dead. He's dead, dead, bro. And there's the Thestral. So because we actually witnessed the death firsthand, we can see them now. That holds up this fucking speck right there. Whip it aside. Oh! Um... Oh, crap. That's gotta be... Oh, no, 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 no. Get the... Get it! You can't lose that, man! The key! But it's cursed, you can't just grab Give me your He didn't have a wand. He's a very powerful, very, very powerful magician. Are you alright? Oh the beast. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay, G to heal, so a grenade is actually a healing. Never mind. <laughs> what happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? There's something more to it. So, like I said, there's someone even following us. Where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item yeah. intended to bring whoever okay, touches that makes it to sense a to me. Place. That holds up. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port Jeez, key. This is beautiful. Or why? Well, I mean, hang on, no, we're not gonna go that way right off the bat. I want to see what's, like, off in the corners. There's always in these worlds, there's, like, little extra things. Obviously, there's nothing here, but it doesn't hurt to check. Um, we're being followed, but the port key was sent by his wife, Miriam? So, she was trying to protect us, protect him, protect the key, but what's so important about this? Ooh, wow. How far did that poor key take us? Uh, Farther from the London than the carriage the travel. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think... The poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. Not at all, no, like... Sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a Absolutely look around. So. Good. Uh, Let's see beat me to it, like... We know nothing about magic, but we will follow you in this really dangerous perilous journey that's probably gonna mind your step okay so B is to zoom on my task Where do you okay suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here a good question Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic ancient magic yes a powerful magic wielded by a rare few Seems to have been lost to time. Huh, interesting. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Yeah, so we'll have to go around, huh? Yeah. But, sir. 
Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to question. understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What kind of magic? What really is matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that practice. one work you were practicing. <laughs> Focus yeah, on Yeah, like the I center. said. Okay, just basic attack, so... Excellent! Okay, select active target. Okay, that's noteworthy, so it highlights what I'm going to be attacking. Okay. Ooh, sliding down! That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one oh. works improving with every car. Well, if I'd known that's you, how sir. I did it, I would have smashed a lot of stuff before then. Well, he is a very... Or, I am a very... What? Crack shot with my wand. What do you mean up there? Is it? Uh. Okay, because we can't go that way. Can I go this way though? Is there? Oh, that part just came from there. Wait, what? Okay. Don't mind me. I'm learning the controls. I know we went that way, but again, you gotta check these games. There's always like hidden. Stuff. Like that. 30 gold. Yeah. Alright, back. Professor Fig! We're close now. Wait for me! Oh. It's a little bit windy, I do. Whoa. Steady yourself! Repair her! What a girl. Again, I, I already can tell, and I believe, that he's a very powerful magician, so I should take as much knowledge as I can from him. Though, again, it's not going to be as much as I hope for, I guarantee you. But... Gotta smash all things. This is Zelda, you know? Us? I mean, we're out of place, for starts. The mini-map shows your surroundings. Uh, with you, purple arrow, in the middle. This is your current objective, plus V to toggle quest objective. I mean, I figured that part out with the whole uh, quest objective, but... Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. He looks like a great wizard, but he's holding, like, a book. I wish I could just, like, take the book, but... Again, this is one of those things where I'm gonna look around a little bit, because I want to see if I can find anything that's, like, useful in the area, because a lot of these games have stuff right in the background that you miss right off the bat. Okay, he... Oh... Professor, it's a mural of some kind. I mean, he's looking mm. at it, of course. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. I can kind of see that, being him being a seer. There's more to it than that. Because he had some runes and sigils that mean more, so... Is this the dark... Not dark, but greater magic that his wife spoke of? That she was looking for? 
that enchanted crystallized stone again. But that's a bit shocking. What's this? Professor Fix! Yeah, it's not letting me strike it. Oh. What? So, was this a grand... How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. It's bringing me to a room that he can't see. So that means I'm one of the few people who can travel to what where he wants me to go. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, wow. I want to destroy so much, but I know... The detail, the beauty of this game is just... Are we at... The bank? Hello? Yeah, well, we are, but it's definitely not Gringotts. <clears throat> That's for sure. <clears throat> He's sleeping. Slap him. I mean, what? <clears throat> no, it is him. It's the, He's from the movie. It can't be. <laughs> uh, just a moment. <laughs> It's such a throwback for me. Welcome to Gringotts Wizard. It is Gringotts, huh? Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. The key. The vault number 12. What this a clever way, way to hide your vault. Gringotts is more mysterious than I ever really thought. I mean, it was always mysterious anyways, how they stored things and, well, between the rails, but I guess there's other entrances for super you. secret banks. Ooh. Now keep your hands inside the cart. If you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> huh. Barely anything worth sitting on. How many volts are there? Oh. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few awesome on the way to you're vault actually... number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the new east. That's are private nice. entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. No worry. I love when it rolls like a that. Dope. A what? Water. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's hmm. downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number portal. 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I mean, yeah, that is some distance. Holy crap. Number. It's holding some Vault great 12. magic. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Suspicious, because the vault's probably not been opened in many years. I'm sure he's gonna watch us. Follow us down there to make sure we're not up to new. Professor, hmm? the armband that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. 
Lamp darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? That's not we good. We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over huh? the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Yeah, which is why he'd be so suspicious. I completely understand that. Here we are. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12, until today. So this is where we learn of a great magic, I'm assuming. I don't know how I feel about this. I am excited, though. Oh, it's saw the doors and the... Ah! Thank you for your help. Locks us in there. All right. Let's see what we're getting into. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you mind... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Good luck. <sighs> Professor, so there's gotta be that another was way out. certainly unexpected. I mean, I expected it, Let as you guys think. can see. <laughs> there must be something here. That wall mm. of shimmery. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. I love that, but I hate that at the same time. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Teaches a spell if you can put Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Uh, door. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. But does that mean I'm... like Harry Potter? Not the chosen one, but there's something about me and my bloodline that can see this stuff that allows me to... Lumos. open them? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Yeah, I can see do that. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no dis- Oops. Back to what I was doing, actually. Things go button. poorly, not out of Gringotts. <laughs> Too bad I can't use Lumos. I'd be useful as shit right now. Revelio. He's just like, oh. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. So we're gonna be falling after this, is what I suspect. Oh lord. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? In front of him. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in it the is. floor. It is. The reflection's still there. 
but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. You gotta stand hmm. in front of him. Hopefully Perhaps he doesn't attack him, though. Moss. spells and that's okay Lumos well done now the reflection is turning towards me it does follow the light I don't know if that's good these guys or I have to line them up. Oh I think I'm gonna have to Oh Protagon. Take him down! No, 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 no! Okay. Okay, there's my health in the bottom corner! Aha! You thought you could outwit me! Like he said, we have to earn our way out of here. Can I get over here, or is that gonna... Nope. Lumos. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Give me a chest, obviously, because money is good. Protego. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Another spot on the floor, but it doesn't oh, That's me. where they're leading. That glow again. Screw the glow. Lumos. I want all the chests. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Hopefully, get the professor back, to be completely honest. I'm a little worried about that. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Stupefy, one of my favorites. Stupefy, super! Come on, I didn't get on it just enough. Ha! 
Come on, we got this. Not a good one. Come on. It's always the same one this time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's beat him down. Lumos. or anything. I'll take it. Interesting. The symbol is very interesting too. A door. Desires most. Just kidding. They're not in this case. Revelio. Is that a basin with memories? I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm gonna learn some things very soon here. But before that, I'm gonna raid the place. I'm uncomfortable! Revelio. Yes, I know I can see that one already, but is there any other ones? Nope. Okay. There's a door over there, but something floating above the basin, too. Huh. It's a memory to pour in there that I will learn from. I'd probably be just as curious picking that up. Uh, there you are. How did you... What? Is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. We need to pour it in there. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. A pensive, that's right, memories. that's the name. So that's a memory to throw in the pensive. I wonder. That's all of Anders. Hey. Follow my lead. Wait, hang on. When he put his wand away, he went. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles. The ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. That would be me with We've done very all that we little can. knowledge. 
and responsibility. Interesting. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I I'm... see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. But could never see Miriam and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. He shouldn't be in here, but then he has oh, a way to get in. Was right. Ranrock. Seems my oh, reputation rebellion. precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. We didn't find anything but a memory. <coughs> uh, sir? Me that I'm... They I have the key to the vault. I'm useful to you, but I'm not telling you that. Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the key. And he didn't have the key, but he's gonna... Oh. God, goblins are more no powerful, though. For traitors. No. He's not a traitor. He's doing his fucking job. No I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. A little bit nervous about that. Always with the goblins, god damn! This is your fault, goblin! It's all gone, all the knowledge, and the boss is coming up because of you! Because you weren't permitted to access the knowledge! That I am supposed to have! <laughs> Get out! Big, we gotta back through the doorway. Run! Do! No! Fig, come on! I can't lose Fig 2 in the middle of this! Come on, man! No! Oh, oh thank God. Oh. Oh. Are you alright? Fine, sir. God damn! I've never seen so powerful a goblin. That's he more powerful than us. Totally unaffected by my magic. And he's a Fucking powerful How magician. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability Somebody to see the to end up old here. magic. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I don't want to go to the sorting ceremony. I want to go to here and figure out why we're here. You just told me that there's such great things here. Why? Oh, so it is. Okay, so it's outside of Hogwarts. Which is in the Forbidden Forest? Ah! Uh, the Pottermore nerd in me, the Potter nerd in me is fucking loving this right now. There she is! And welcome everybody to Hogwarts Legacy. Again, I'm that dude Lucy. If you like what you see, please hit that like, please hit that follow and subscribe. Ah, I'm so excited! Ah, oh, that was 
That was a great intro. That leaves me with so much wonder. I am obviously of like old blood, something that's gone through years and years being passed down or, you know, genetically integrated or what blah. I don't know. But I can see this ancient magic that everybody's searching for, but so I am like the prophecy. I am Ah. So Okay, okay. That's a lot on my shoulders. It's like... Harry had a lot on his shoulders. I have a lot on my shoulders. But I can't say it's quite as much with somebody hunting me to kill me just for the oh, sake good. of me being potter. I'm I know what house I am, but I want to see what I get here. Seems more appropriate. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. Welcome everybody. What happened to George to Hogwarts warned of Ranrock. School of Witchcraft the moment, and Wizardry. I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. It seems Thank best you. to be honest, yeah. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Not really, but let's see where they put me. <laughs> a fifth year being sorted. That's a little weird, but let's Sorting hat's interesting, by the way. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Oh. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. A black was a headmaster? That sounded Fake. really worse than I nice meant, but like serious us. black. The sorting sediment Huge is name over. in the wizarding there world. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left you sounds worse than a malfoy if you're lucky we might still be able to get you sorted this evening i'm a fifth year i should you know i'll be in touch a question i know what house i am i know what my stuff is because of the wizarding world but i didn't attach it because i'm curious to see what it is now a couple years later Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. The source, uh, sorting hat is an interesting thing. because Even though it asks all the questions in the movie to Harry, it was literally like that. Nobody else saw it. Touched his head. Gryffindor. Ah. They don't see it's a this. bit older than the others, aren't you? Mm hmm You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. expectations. I can't wait to explore. To I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? I gotta pick the first one that comes to mind that actually feels right. Daring, curiosity, loyalty, or ambition. Curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. And knowledge mm. is power. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you have a ready mind. Quick to learn. Oh, Perhaps you belong in oh, no. Ravenclaw. Oh, boy. Oh, they put me... Yep, see? See? Okay, just to verify this, guys, on the Wizarding World, Pottermore, and a couple other things, you know, I got my wand, I got my, uh, my, uh, my house, and my Patronus, and this confirms it. I am a Ravenclaw, and for the those who haven't heard anything on Hogwarts Legacy... 
they say that Ravenclaw is the worst class because it's not as fun as the rest. You know what? Let's play it through. Let's see what we have in store. Let's see if they're true. Uh, let's see if it's true or if it's false. I am definitely accepting my house. I will take that. I am curious. I will be one of those guinea pigs. You belong in Ravenclaw! Ravenclaw! I mean, it's not much of a sh sorting, but that's definitely me. I mean, that's, I feel it. Uh, look at it appear on my chest. Let's go to my table now. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been Oh, passed. come on. I was looking forward to that. I wanted to do Quidditch. That was one of the things Enough. I was super excited it's about. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Fair. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. But Quidditch and football I are alike. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Ah, uh, all right, Headmaster. We'll go speak. Christ. It's lovely to Weasley. meet you. Weasley. Yes. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it. Thank you. The Black family saying, and the Weasley family. This Professor excites Weasley, me. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Deputy headmistress. So, like, assistant? So she's headmistress material. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. Absolutely, This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Because she's not a Ravenclaw. So hopefully that Who means... Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. To the ghost. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Weasley, I hope you get enjoy me your first in night particular, at everybody. Sleep well. Okay. That's interesting. So Hogwarts has a great thought and hope in me too. Ah, look at that view though. Ah, bringing me back. I'm so excited. God, guys, it's been years since I've actually done any, like, Harry Potter games and stuff. It's nice to actually Looks be like back in the coming. magic. Let's head to the common room. Oh, that means I'm late. I overslept, didn't I? Ah. Uh, well, if I overslept, that means I have one extra second. Give me one second, guys. I gotta get a drink. I will be really quick about it. <laughs> Right. Sorry about that. Um, 
This really has me curious, though, now that we're entering into Hogwarts itself, if there's going to be some throwbacks to the old games, such as uh, 2 and 4. I'm going to throw that in there. You know, Chamber of Secrets or Goblet of Fire that they had. Um, geez, Christ. Um, going back to, uh, uh, what, PS2 days? Wow. That long. Um, oh, it actually kind of shows me, but blurred, so it doesn't have to. Anyways. I want to explore before we go anywhere. I mean, yeah, I know I should be. Ah. Ah. So aesthetically pleasing. I love this so much. Okay, sorry. Oh. I know, I know, guys. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna go about the mission. We'll go explore the Ravenclaw uh, common room and rooms later on. It's just something I'm gonna want to do. Um, oh, lock me off. Oh, so that must be the girls' door. I suppose some introductions are in order. All right, let's uh, let's meet people. Oh, a ghost? They won't let her through because I'm right there. Moment. Meet this guy. I'm curious. Watch this. Uh oh. Troublemaker. What is this? It's someone through a dumb box. Yeah, I think we can be friends. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? <laughs> I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Raven class can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm ever at, by the I mean, way. Yeah, because we're learners. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm, I mean, I'm a tad bit nervous learning everything. I'm looking forward to the first day, but I am a tad nervous. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but, I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do the tend to push their limits. Me. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Uh -huh. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. I saw Agnita in the background. I've heard lots about her, but she is silent. How do I interact with the... Uh, 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 I want to know. I'm so sad that Agnita doesn't say the things like she used to, from what I understand, because I read a lot of the memes. He's always talking his game. And then look at his face if you don't fight him. He's like a child with an empty pillowcase on. Nice to know. I'm not sure this is the right Adam spot. Everything from Disney theme Samantha Dale. I mean, Sam. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Well, let's golden make him thrive gobstones. for you. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power and such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> That's going to be Pleased useful, to meet I you. Tell. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Nice to meet you, Sam. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Just a good guess, Actually, to be honest. Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. He does, though, and he's very intelligent. Um... Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Oh, a ton. Is it Ask common her. practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. 
In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. <laughs> Garlic, of course. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. All perfection. Yeah. So, I ask her if it, it isn't it a Hufflepuff, but I'm not gonna ask her that because I feel like it's gonna offend her. So it's been it was nice, nice to talking meet you, with you. I, I, good you're gonna be a uh, good friend. Thank you. Maybe and good luck like to you too Hermione on your first day. To my Harry Potter. The other guy was not quite a Ron, but like his brothers, like Fred or George. And then we're gonna meet Emmett. Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? I, I mean, I'd honestly love to. I want to see what he's looking at. Look through the scope. Oh, it's the Can't girls' dorm in Gryffindor. Much, Oof. Okay. No. <laughs> well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. Not at all. It's nice to for meet real. You, I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the I'm stars. Eat. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I do find the stars fascinating, so I'll click on that one. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. Okay, noteworthy. You'll be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. Oh, I suppose I'm excited I'll see about that. Then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I do remember the Game Boy game. Thank you, Aiden. Ah, I'm actually... Uh, I forgot about that till you said it. My God, thank you. No, I want to go in the girls' dorm. Let me in. Let me... Let me in! Just kidding. You went upstairs there. Okay. Um, anyways, I'm going to explore more of the Ravenclaw uh, Commonwealth, the room, later on. I do kind of want to... Need is so quiet now. <laughs> I only know this from the memes, okay? Don't judge me. Dude, where does it want me to go now? Down? So, okay. It is... So aesthetically pleasing, though. Like, this is... Oh, my God. Even the, the noise from dome. You think they were sleeping next to this is beautiful. Like, they really worked hard. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Weasley's waiting for me, though. Good morning. In particular. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. How'd you get into Ravenclaw? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Yeah, I got a lot of catching Especially up to do. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Yeah, my o -W -Ls. owls. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After be much ordinary. discussion be with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your e success. Extraordinary! Like I said, I'm an extraordinary wizard. Here level. you are. Oh. Can I consume all that power? Oh, right. No. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I'm gonna. It's gonna help me a lot. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. That Walk doesn't... with me and we shall put it to the test. 
This way. One sec. Hey, don't do that. Care dogs, apologize, guys. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about visiting law. <laughs> of course, I, I gotta certainly it. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. I mean, Potter didn't have that, did he? Hello, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? I mean, see what details the field guide can provide. He was looking at me as I went by, so... This bust, created in honor of Ravenclaw House, resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Escape to open field guide, okay. My wizarding XP, or my wizarding level XP, earned from challenges increasing your level and power. I'm going to be doing a lot of the side quest, guys, just saying, um... Because I want to become more powerful. I don't want to necessarily stay right on the main story quest. Because I want to be really good. It's like my same thing I do with Fallout and Skyrim and stuff. I want to like overbuild my levels. That way I can rip through things. So you guys are going to watch me go through and just like level. Be a badass. Hopefully. <laughs> but we shall see. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menus to continue. I mean... Okay. Field guide pages. Room of requirements. Ooh, the room of requirements is actually a thing. Yes! Explorations, quest, and combats. Let's look at the field pages. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete. Uh, from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay, that's useful. Useful. Um, uh, regalia spectacles. So, kind of like Harry's spectacles, but no sidebars, it looks like. I'll take it. It gives you incentive to explore the castle, which I'm actually pretty super excited about. Like I said, I'm hoping there's a lot of throwbacks to the old games. Just everything, really, like, when it comes to the Potter universe. Like, that's super exciting. Clever, isn't it? Keep your Going on, Mr. 47. Like that, inside and outside of the castle. Mr. 47, I wasn't able to um, wit witness Ignita like everybody else was. They've silenced her at this point. I'm kind of sad about that. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Uh, you're the one who's wasting my time. It's taking so long to walk down these stairs. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's my time. Oop. No, I'm not straying too far. Yes, I'm straying too far because I want... Search? What'd I get? I don't know what I got, but I got something. We'll search Ravenclaw Tower later on, guys. Uh, we're going to try and get into our first missions, first games. Ah! Seriously, though, like... I just said the same thing about Quidditch. Like, oh, we're canceling Quidditch for the year. So I'm like, timing. really? Perfect like, I love Quidditch. I was really hoping there would be something like that. Get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, Flow Flames, fast travel. You can open the map at any time. The fast travel scrub, uh, scrubber, uh, Flow Flames by Ignita. Okay, that's nice to know. But she doesn't talk anymore. Sad. <laughs> I'm good. Um, two main areas. Left side of the map, which is 
where the students and the professors live include the house common okay so the right side of the map is obviously gonna be stuff we want to go to um In this view, you can see the flow flames available in that region. Green flow flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house and common room. Gray flow flames uh, re reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. I mean, I got Ravenclaw Tower and common room, but... Right side of the map. Find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, greenhouse, etc., etc. Okay. Okay, library annex, is that what I want? Select, okay. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flow flames for you. Use A or D to rotate the map to fast travel. Well, I mean, I'm already on there, so. I'm confused. Low powder. Diagonally. Oh. Oh no. I ended up where I didn't want to be because I pronounced it wrong. Are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You ah. So thrilled that's a Weasley. Quickly from Central Hall. Really? I mean. Always something happening here. It's the so heart of the beautiful. hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Sorry, Professor. I was looking at the architecture. So beautiful be here. Now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh, good questions. Uh, thank you, Professor. Going about my day, but I have questions, because... Oh! 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 It's... I mean, obviously, it's going to send me in the direction I want to go, but... Charms is useful, but... Defense against the Dark Arts. Mr. 47's in the Dark Arts. I want to be defending against Can you it. tell me more about Sorry, the Defense Ty. Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A I mean, mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Like Fortunately, me. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Before I go further on, um, my position in Quidditch. Oh, God. Um... That is a great question. Um, I don't know, honestly. I'm definitely not going to be with the bludgeon. I'm not going uh, to knock things out of the way. I'd like to say I'd be like Harry going for the snitch. But I think I'd be more of a defensive player. Uh, knocking the bludgeons and everything out of the way to make sure Harry doesn't get hit so he can get the snitch. I, I'd be the defensive guy rather than the guy, you know, uh, going for the snitch or, uh, anyways, yeah, it, ah, that was a great question though, um, I'm sorry I don't know the terminology for all the different players off the top of my head because it's been such a long time, but I'm definitely not a keeper, um, I'm definitely not going for the snitch, I'm definitely going to be a defensive knocking the bludgeons back. I guess I could be offensive, but I don't know. I feel that's where I'd be better with the team. I really do feel sad about that, though, because there's no Quidditch in this, but I am excited that we can at least use the broom. So tell me more about charms, though. What I want to know charms, charms, Professor. Class. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all jinxes terribly useful. Be, I mean, what? I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Red hair like a Weasley. And Hogsmeade, you I want to know about Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade. And is home to an array of shops and pubs. 
You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I mean, Diagon Alley would be the other place as well. I mean, come on, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you it have is. Much to it learn. is. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll okay. be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I won't tell you about that. Ooh. That's a tough one for me because I really want to be an honest person and tell her yes because I'm very on board with Weasleys and they're very good about keeping secrets and I'm gonna go with I'm afraid there isn't because I feel like in tacking what Professor Fig told me and not telling anybody would be a I'm good sorry, idea. I'm Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I'm sorry, ma'am, but... Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you seem to ringing. have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad I've... you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Fig's got of course. My nose. Thank Sorry. you. Random. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. He's been taking a very special note on me, which... Is interesting. And it feels like I'm a fifth year, but I'm a first year fifth year, which is interesting. But we'll figure it out more as the game goes on. Um, it's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Yes, sir. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. Yes, sir, you did. I did my best, but I I'm fairly why certain she Weasley, suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, yes. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. That it was is right very to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. That's a tough one. Because I don't want to lie to the headmaster black, are, but... I believe the ability you possess obliges you. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Ooh, I'd love that.
I'm confused right now. Seven quests are locked. I mean, obviously, uh, some quests are locked by spells and and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to uh, be the required level and or have the required spells to activate the quests. New spells can be earned by professors, assignments, or quest rewards. This one's hopping, so I'm assuming this is going to be one I need. Correct quest, pressing that button to continue. Charms class, we'll go with that first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including Hopefully. your own wand. You'll I enjoy do really Mr. Need Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Oh. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Is that a bug you just stepped on, Professor? Okay. All right. We're going to go to Charms class real quick. Um, wow. Who are you? This cannot possibly be as difficult. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. She has a point, though. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Interesting. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. I mean, that's Hogwarts for you. If I can work you. out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Now I'm curious. Lumos. You come and find me if you stumble. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. That is curious. Muggle school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. Muggle school. Ah. Uh, I do want to check that out right now, but. I haven't been down to the boat club since Friday. Ah, let's go to Charms class first. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Ooh, it actually gave me it on my map, depiction of the location of the painting. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Hello. Ravello. Statue of Gregory the uh, Sam Samar Smarmy? Smarmy. Yep, mm-hmm, mm hmm This statue with an integrate... This statue with the integrating grain depicting it picks on the medieval wizard Gregory the Smamari. Uh, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unconti uh Ah, oh, you gotta you really, really. It's gonna fuck with me with all these big fucking weird words. Okay. Um Revelio. Uh, uh, really? You know what? Fine. I'm not gonna reel uh, re uh, read on more. I've learned enough. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Interesting. So I saw the moth. And the muskets. I still 
I'm not really sure how to get the moth back to its. There we go. I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. I will if I get a minute. I heard the do Oh, that's exciting. Ah! The fact that I have so much Potter knowledge going through my veins right now. Lenora, God damn. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Well, I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. I mean, it's really so is Meat. For you. Although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm yeah. glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. Like a moth to a frame. What do I got? Uh, defense against the dark arts and charms. I'm gonna go to defense against the dark arts. That's where I want to be. So much to learn, so much to see, but. <laughs> There's so many places to go, so much to. Ah, I can't. I can't even get over the fact of how aesthetically pleasing this game is. Like, this is... Ah! I don't know what that means. I don't know what the roll does. Does that open a door I'm supposed to... Okay, got flow powder to the next location. Just got to figure out how to get the next classroom. She, uh, sick. Music is beautiful, by the way. Okay. Ooh, the door actually opened. Ooh, Griffin. They can get one of those at some point. Or have... Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually living this game right now. Like, Jesus, like, I actually have always wanted to be in Hogwarts, and I'm, like, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much right now. Come on, dude. Rebellion. It's a kitty! I want to pet the kitty! Oh, it's a little kitty! Oh, yeah! Oh, it's a good boy. Good girl? Good, good, good kitty. Alright, nope, nope. I can't go this way. I, I need to actually play the game. Is it good news, though, Professor? Guys, I really cannot get over the aesthetics of this game. Like, it's... It's making it hard for me to actually concentrate on where I'm going. Like... Seriously, the architecture is wow. What? Ah, delicious tea. It was just floating around before I got here. I watched it. Can I take a note? No? Okay. Got the click over there. Let's go to defense against the dark arts. All the eyes are watching me. Stand 
you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No yeah. doubt you've heard of it. Beautiful skeleton. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Good ma'am. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Proet? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. I can see Levioso being a very useful spell. So... Like, seriously. Not necessarily lifting up a person, but Levioso. lifting up something and then being able to toss it at them. But, like she said, catching. Now, a let's by try surprise. something a little larger. Oh no. Oh no. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Mm -hmm. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, uh... a surprised uh... Now, the basic cast. Well done. You beat him up. Levioso is two, so let's get to remember. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Very good. But the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start really? with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Uh, of course. Time for a proper. I want to <laughs> the red Mr. 47. Cast and Protego. You may begin. Oh, he's off the table now. That's right, motherfucker. I'm way better Not than you. Bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Irrespectful, first lady. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank yeah! You, Points to Ravenclaw! If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand yes, excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, well, I'd advise you to keep practicing. I'm always you can. with the defense against a good Perhaps Mr. Bleh, Sam will dark have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, I'm totally All expecting right. that. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Look at that, like, shrimp guy dude in the bottom left there, right by me. Dude, there's so much to look at. <laughs> if you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I couldn't agree more. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Sebastian's a 
dickhead. But to unlock. Oh, so I need to learn some spells to be able to get through these things. Nice work. I enjoyed like that. Sebastian. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It yeah, was certainly kicked your ass. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Humble first look. Didn't expect a new student. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In it fact, was, it was. Never my wand. Perhaps Dickhead. I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Oh, really? Sounds intriguing. Fuck this suspicious. I'm intrigued. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count, Count me, me in. in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. And I absolutely Whether it's agree. Whether a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the uh, library, you I just agree. have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. I'm with Sebastian Good. on this. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Like, perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. See we'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I am quite interested, time. to be com uh, completely honest. Like. I'm very interested in what he wanted to talk about. This is where I'm going. I will go to Charms after. I actually want to get better at defense against the Dark Arts. Of course, I gotta hit the globe again. Yeah, spin it. Again, this is so aesthetically ah, uh, bro. Uh, I'm trying not to be tearful on this. This is so fucking beautiful. Like this, ah. Uh, oh man, I just I can't believe I'm actually in Hogwarts. It's what's this? Uh, Not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where I she please. said I could swim, did you praxia mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed his <laughs> containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw oh, up a poor guy. With her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly <laughs> Tried to help him. Oh, he's gonna leave his books, of course. That's funny. All right. Anyways. I really can't get over how aesthetically pleasing this game is. There's... Uh, I want to play Quidditch! Come on! It's fine. This is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm all good. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Hello. More defense against Can the I dark arts. Hi, Lucan. Showing you that I'm better. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. So he's a I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. 
good. Did take him I down. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross work work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. I'll take that. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Absolutely. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I uh, besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Yeah, I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Uh, no you won't. A Ravenclaw to Slytherin, what could go wrong? Breakthrough yellow shields to control, oh, with controlled spells. Like levitation spells, Leviosa. Lock targets with caps lock, let track enemies back and forth. There's to change targets while locked. Noteworthy. Right. Yes. What to do? I really did not do good on that nice one. Nice work. But Sebastian one. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Yes, sir. Count me in. Work to that. I shall. Now it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Exciting. Again, congratulations Absolutely on your first exciting. cross ones victory. Well yes, fought. sir. Hope to see you back here again. We'll see you soon, buddy. Whoops. All right, we want to go to. Actually. There we go. Good news, everyone. Is it good news, there, Professor? All right, let's go to charms class. Being my last few things I need to do. Check that later. Not currently tracking anything. What do you mean? I need to go to my charms class. Take some flow powder, move along a little bit quicker so we can actually get the charms and learn another spell. Why am I not currently tracking anything? Alright, 
Let's go. Again, this game is ah so aesthetically pleasing. Hey, right, you're mad at me? For <laughs> shooting you in the farce. Ooh. Ah! I can't get over the aesthetics of this game. It's so beautiful. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some and? of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. I mean, I do. Charm's a good thing to learn. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Hello, door, but I am friendly. Nettie. So you are the new student. Hello, Natty. Have you met Professor Ronan? Professor was talking about you. <clears throat> Shall we begin? Yes, sir. <laughs> to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, Are please open slurring? your textbooks to page 517. But okay. before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, do you yeah, even remember charm. how to perform a basic summoning charm? No. Hmm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone yes, get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. This is amazing. I, I can't explain how excited I am to be in this wizarding world right now. Asio. Akio. Akio. Asio is how I always thought when reading the books, but you are Akio. a swift learner. Yes, sir. I, I see am. a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Yes, sir. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking. We might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. That doesn't seem like a good After idea. After me. Something tells me this isn't going to be as fun as I thought it would be. Oh, Forbidden Forest. With the California Reds. Sorry. <laughs> ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh, that's pretty fucking badass right there. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Of course you're gonna have me. A fifth year, but still doesn't know anything in magic. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them to go 
Excellent. Don't lose your composure. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay, so I'm supposed to. Splendid. There we go. Fail. Now I know what I'm doing. Very good. Points to Raven Not Claw. very good. But, but I got points. There's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Uh -oh. Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Come on. Let us see this. Why is this not working? Oh, it's one at a time, I bet. That is how it's done. Akio. That's right. You got nothing on me. Here we go. Ah, she got 52. Damn it. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm gonna fucking lose because I wasn't able to get this right. I'm actually kind of mad about that. Well done. I lost. I want to do that again. I'm mad. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall oh, we? Oh, huh? Bring me, sir. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You Come will on. need it. Come on. This Come round on. settles it all. Let us see this. Too far, too far. Oh, yeah! When I win a chicken dinner. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, both of you. Well done. I think she's my new friend, though. Because she was handing me the book right there. Ooh. Little loading. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Bata. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took I got weeks it for me to get minutes. anything right when I transferred I here. That. It gets easier, I promise. You're right. Glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, 
I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu. Just my mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left okay. Uganda and were okay. halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? Using a wand? You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Huh. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's interesting. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Ah, uh, I'd love to see that. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That's amazing. I love the is wizarding Wagadu world. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Hard to believe. But it never Hogwarts seemed intimidating huge. or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. It is, Thank you really. for asking. I do it's miss amazing. Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. All right. Until next time. Yes, ma'am. We'll see you again soon. Of course. You can A word of your if you would. If you You so wanted inclined. to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, More an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best Expect as gifted unexpected. a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Oh. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Glad to hear that. Some of fifth year. Ah! And after learning these two spells, gaining levels in these two classes and completing my first day, before I go and see Miss Weasley, I think that this has been enough. Thank you guys for joining us. If you like what you see, please hit that like. Please hit that follow. Please hit that subscribe. And remember, guys, you are the real MVP here. You are the reason why we're here, and you are the reason why we keep going, why I keep going. You know, this can't happen without you guys. And remember, guys, I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. And again, thank you for joining us. You guys have a fantastic night. I love you. Peace out.